Good evening, everybody. This is Rich, River Smokers, West Virginia. I'm down here on the river. Katie's gone for a little while, so what we're going to do is me and Jason and the kids are going to make barbecued pumpkin seeds on the pellet smoker. So what we're going to do is we're going to get to that in a minute, but I want to give a shout out to Smoking Joe's uh, YouTube channel, Smoking, uh, yeah, Smoking Joe. Um, I got, I bought some I didn't think they made them, but I got some, um, I can't remember what they're called, but Smoking Joe makes these, they're expanded metal, there you go, expanded metal grates for your Green Mountain Grill, um, any version of Green Mountain Grill. So he, I found out he made these, and I bought a pair, and for uh, he, um, I think about $120. You can get a set of these for your Daniel Boone, Green Mountain Grill. Now, what we're going to do at the same time is um, we're going to season this at the same time as we're going to um, do the pumpkin seeds. So, to knock two birds with one stone, maybe I should do a video on how to season your um, expanded grates for your Green Mountain Grill, but... I'll go ahead and take a, take a dive, and I'm going to go ahead and do it all one time because we got a busy weekend this weekend. So what we're going to do is we'll put those on. Give a, give, give old Smoking Joe a shout-out on YouTube. He has an awesome YouTube channel. Um, just start, I think he's starting back up. He had one um, a while back, but he's just starting up a new his new channel. Give him a look-see. I'll leave our card up here in the corner and link it in the description box. Um, and get a hold of him. Um, I'll leave his information in the description box if you guys want to get a hold of him for um, expanded metal grates for your Green Mountain Grill. Awesome guy, very personable, talked to him on the phone a lot, very nice guy. So check his YouTube channel out and you, you won't be disappointed. So back to these, we're going to get back to these pumpkin seeds. So here's our pumpkin seeds I showed you before. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to use a little Orville Redenbacher um, popping and topping oil. It's butter, butter flavored oil. Miss Katie picked this up at the store today, and I didn't think that it would be open. Um, all right, here. <laughs> Has good taste. Ooh, smells funny. Smells like theater butter. We get the we get the movie theater and you get that rich old smelling peanut uh, peanut butter, um, uh, oil butter. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna gonna give you a like a nice little coating of that. And what we're gonna do is we'll take a wooden spoon and we're gonna coat it. We're still finding little pieces of pumpkin. There you go, little piece of pumpkin. I mean, I found this. Actually, on the internet, well, Miss Katie found it on the internet. And how I got the idea of toasting them all together is I found another channel. I wrote, um, cooking with somebody, I can't remember. I'll have to look it up here in a minute. Sorry. It's got, all, it's just got off work, and we want to get these things done up. So you just kind of you know, switch these things around. You know, they're going to be dark and cold. Oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry. Get ahead of myself. What we what we what we did, what was Katie did while I was at work was she actually we had these in the refrigerator in a bowl for you know somebody did the jack o' lanterns, and what she did is she put hot salt water, about three tablespoons of uh, hot salt water, in this bowl and dumped the uh, pumpkin seeds in there and they soaked for. And it was only about an hour and a half, two hours, but we, you know, it's Friday. So about three hours, um, they soaked. So you just dump them out, strain them out, and I didn't even pat them dry. I didn't sitting around for, for, for a half hour. So what we're going to do is we got our Orville Redenbacher flavored butter oil on the, um, on the sunflower, or sunflower seeds. Damn, I keep wanting to say sunflower seeds. So what we'll do... So I'm, I'm getting on some pumpkin. Huh? They look like them. Yeah. Well, no, they're awful big for sunflower. The hell of a sunflower. 
So, um, there we go. You're gonna get some pumpkin, and you see the 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 pumpkin strands. Um, that's a hard thing to do. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead. We'll throw it in all oh, that seed. Yeah. And we're gonna go ahead and dump these out. We'll a little at a time. We don't want to stack them up because they have to be able to be able to roast. So we just spread them out. Yeah, we got a you know, nice big old pan. This is gonna, we're gonna make a, it's obviously gonna be a couple runs, but this is how we did it. Right there. So we don't want to get any pumpkin in there because we're gonna run that, that Green Mountain Grill at about 425 degrees. And um, these things are going to, it's like 10, 15 minutes for toasting. So, and what we're going to do is we got these on a pan. And what we're going to do is we're going to sprinkle them with a little bit of Cimarron Docs barbecue rub. And we're going to um, switch cam camera angles and we'll get back to you when we rub these seeds up. All right, we're back. We got this Cimarron Docs barbecue rub. And what we're gonna do is, it's got a little smoky, sweet, and you know some heat. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just dust these on a pan with a little your favorite barbecue rub. Doesn't matter what you want. If you want it to be hot and sweet, if you want it to be sweet and savory, whatever. So do them up good. You just kind of stir them up on the pan. I mean, I was going to toss them in the bowl, but I'm afraid I'll get too much rub on them because too much simmer on docks is spicy. And I don't think the kids or anybody else is going to dig a hot pumpkin seed. So, so what we we'll do is spread these out again. I never thought I'd be doing pumpkin seeds on a, on a Weber Smoky, or not Weber Smoky Mountain. I want to do them on a Weber Smoky Mountain. But um, I think that'd just be a, for me, just a waste of charcoal. And, uh, you know, I'm not really into wasting a whole lot of stuff. Woo, look out. So we'll go ahead and dust these up again. We'll side it flipped up. And get them good. So, all right, guys. We'll get back to you at the Green Mountain Grill. All right, buddy, we're back outside. We're about to fire up our Green Mountain Grill Daniel Boone edition. And man, these grates look awesome. Look at that right there. Don't those core, look at them, them, them grates look awesome. Look at that. Very shiny. What we're gonna do is we're gonna, what we're gonna do is when you put these things together, all right, this should be about a quarter inch on each side right here. Just make sure they're together in the middle and this will be even and it'd be great. So what we're gonna do here, let me get you back up here to me, is what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and fire this thing up and when it hits like 350 degrees or 300, or as we fire it up, I'm gonna go ahead and rub some peanut oil on this stuff, you know, with the tongs and you know, war striker, you know, probably war striker or something. And just rub them down to season them and turn them black while we're doing this so guys i hope you like what i'm doing I'm doing two things at one time seasoning grates and doing pumpkin seeds so what we're gonna do we're gonna get this thing fired up and we'll get back to you when we get them pumpkin seeds on get this thing up the temperature all right what we're doing you can hear me is we're starting to season our grates we got our cooker temperature around 350 right now we're looking at a 425 Oops. Oops. just rub your grates with the oil don't burn your eyeballs out with the smoke just rub them down with something you don't care about they're pretty sharp from a cooker <laughs> but anyway we're gonna keep doing this and uh, we're gonna you know, get our pumpkin seeds on 
when it gets to about 425. So we'll go ahead and let this thing do its thing. We'll get back to and put them pumpkin seeds on. All right, we're back. Look at these, look at these pumpkin seeds. Got that Cimarron docks on there. And every everyone got a little bit of piece of the action. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just place this in there, like so. And these things probably only gonna take says 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, until they get toasted, like a brown color. Not burnt, but toasted. <laughs> we got a pretty high quality um, baking pan underneath there with aluminum foil. So this probably shouldn't take long. So we'll see you probably about 10, 15 minutes. We'll see you then. All right, back. It's been about, it's been 10 minutes exactly. Uh, I think these things need a little more. Let's take a look at them. Supposed to toast them until they are dry and they start to brown on the edges. But we don't have that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and let these things go for another 10 minutes. It might take 20 minutes or so. Quite a big pan. You know, they had a little moisture in them from setting. So we're going to do this until they start getting um, brown, like toasted, and they won't be shiny like they're wet. So we'll get back to you in another 10 minutes. All right, we're back. And I know it's getting not standing this light right here. I'm going to have to work on my lighting. Don't worry, I got some upgrades coming. Um, you know, as everybody knows, stuff is a little pricey. And, you know, I work every day like everybody else, so. And, um, you guys keep watching. Eventually, one day, this will, I'll, I'll, uh, it'll make it worth itself worth it. But it's worth it to me right now because I don't really care about anything except for barbecuing. Keep my, my subs happy. Keeping you, keep content coming to you guys. And I'm doing everything I can. And I got a lot of stuff coming. So stay tuned. And once again, um. You know, leave some questions. If you have anything you want to ask, go ahead and ask. You know, leave it in the comments. I've been writing a couple questions down. When I get 10 questions, I'll do my first video on question and answer. And then you guys can ask any questions you want. Now, I might not answer them on the comments because I'll make them. I'll see. I'll put it on my list. And um, I might make it a Sunday thing, Sunday afternoon, or I football going. So I don't know. We'll figure it out. For right now, we don't have enough questions to do it, but we're accumulating questions. And thank you for all everybody's support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And again, guys, check out um, Smoking Joe's Barbecue on YouTube. I'll leave his link. You know, it's in the description box. Hit show more. It should already been an iCard one time. And so hit him up, and um, I'll leave all his information down in the description box. Real nice guy. You want you want a pair of your um, expanded metal grates? for your um green mountain grill he does it for all the models the the kale gator model the daniel boone model the jim Bowie model and these cost me you know 120 dollars and um so um i love them I, they're seasoning up great let's go ahead and take a look at that while we're here and uh, i've been seasoning them and the first run of pumpkin seeds are done we're gonna go ahead and look at those in a minute see how they're turning black in the middle you see where I'm really getting the concentrated of um, it, it, it might take a cook or two to get these get these things seasoned up because I don't you know it might take a couple times to get them seasoned up but that's all right <clears throat> as long as the most of it where I put in my meat would be seasoned the outside edges will catch up with a little bit of pork fat so but anyway these Cimarron dock pumpkin seeds are done they're cooling off so what we're gonna do now is I couldn't resist. That's right, people. It's incredible. Michael Petrie, check him out. Um, I, I did a review on this stuff on the Daniel Boone on some leg quarters. I'll leave that uh, show up here in the description box. Real nice guy. Um, you know, he's had some hardship. Um, the um, I think it's Ur Irma uh, Harvey. Harvey, I think. Yeah, Harvey really put a hurting on you know their neighborhood and where he lives. And so, you know, he like has his own business and, you know, he's really been trying to keep up, catch up like everybody, like every other hardworking American trying to live the dream. 
making money, trying to do it, trying to just live. And I'll tell you, you know, it gets tough from every aspect of life, from way down to high up. No matter how much money you got, life is still going, life is going to be hard. You're just living in a different bracket. Enough about that. So these these greats are coming along, guy. Uh, good. Thank you, Joe, for you know turning uh, for for selling these things to me and turning me on to these because I I wouldn't even know you guys made them. So you know um, he makes them you know on the side I think yeah he makes them on the side and he he makes them for Green Mountain Grill. So he's really good, all hand work, you know, really clean stuff. So there's no funky smell, there's no oils coming to the top except for the peanut oil. So. We're going to get these. It's incredible on. Well, yeah, you're only going to take a look at those if I can get them in the shot, which I don't know. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> James, this is for you, buddy. Michael Petrie. All right, so what we're going to do is these guys, some of the, the Cimarron Dots got a little charred, some of them, because of that high quality baking pan it gets hot i don't understand why it's baking sheet it gets really hot i got a cheaper one on a smaller one for the one for it's incredible so that pretty much uh, does it for the pumpkin seeds um we got like a little small little run but we'll see how the fam likes this the fam is not real happy i might just go ahead and you know, not do the rest of them but i'm like i don't know so i'm kind of rambling it's friday you know long day at work getting dark on the river early and miss katie still isn't home from walmart the hell's taking her so long so yeah, it's hard to shoot without my woman here you know what i mean it's my backbone it's my right hand my best friend damn I miss her I ain't feeling when she's not here she'll have to give you that that niche in the background you know what i mean so we got this incredible one. oh i'm sorry um yeah the cimarron dogs got a little um got a little toasty some of them uh which i like it, it tastes great i don't burn them all but um <clears throat> it takes it's like 12 minutes or so so just make watch it when you if you want to try to decide to do it just watch the bottom side maybe try to flip them a little bit my first time doing this and they taste you know i don't know what they taste like but they smell great i love anything burnt anything like that burnt peanuts or anything like a burnt nut <laughs> chris nickel that was for you but hobo hobo nickel and you know what i never gave hobo nickel i don't think a shout out check out hobo nickel youtube channel does some he does some or, uh, off the wall stuff but he's a really nice guy he's a he's an admin for one of our you know for a facebook group called youtube cooks for us cooks uh, youtube creators i'm glad he started it it's very awesome chris you're doing a hell of a job keep it up man so you know he does the hot seat which is really cool i uh, hope i can get to do, do a hot seat with him one day um he's a real good guy so again hobo nickel barbecue I'll leave a link up in the icon up here in the corner, and I'll leave his link in the description box. Go check him out. We'll hit you up in about ten minutes now when these incre when these incredible seeds come off. We'll see you then, guys. All right, we're back, and we are done the pumpkin seeds. And I just want to show you guys the season that is starting to get on this, on these grates. I mean, Joe, you really outdid yourself with thinking about doing that. And it looks great. Look how sexy that looks. Again, expanded metal grates by. Smoking Joe's barbecue. Uh, I'll leave his information in there. And if you got Green Mountain Grill, by all means, get you a set, a pair, or whatever of these grates. They are phenomenal. They look great. I mean, you really can't can't complain. The price is really affordable. So they're not quite seasoned on the edges, but they're seasoned enough in the middle to put a nice piece of meat on, and I'll wipe them down with oil on the next time I fire it up. So it might take a couple of times to season it because I don't want to stand out here all night and three, four hours and waste my pellets to season it up. So I'll just go ahead and you know finish seasoning it on the next uh, cook with the grill. Got it was all oiled up, so you know we're good to go. So. 
guys, we're going to go ahead and uh, go in and taste these seeds. Let's see what the kids think. We'll see you inside. Everybody, we're back. We got the kids, and these sunflower seeds are looking. Or sunflower seeds. Damn, they're pumpkin seeds. <laughs> this one's Cimarron Docks. Got a little, got a little, uh, little extra toasty on that one. That was the very first run, and of course there's the Cimarron Docks, and this one is incredible. it's incredible. And let me tell you something. These are awesome. Awesome. So. Stand up, Dodge. Stand up, Grace. Stand up in your chair. Make sure you can see. Oh, why don't you shake the camera? All right. All right, here we go. No, you got a hand. Go ahead, Jason. It's too bad, babe. I know. Those are awesome. Oh, hold on. That's right. Wrong one. Mm. They're gonna a, sit around a little bit. Some of them's a little crunchy. Get a little heat. Some's a little soggy. Yeah. Some are on dogs. And the barbecue. Yep. The, it, the heat. It's good. Really good. <laughs> really good. It's trying to get crunchy. Right here, Dad. Oh, brought one? Oh. Right. I got one. Like vultures. <laughs> well, that's incredible. I got them. That's your favorite one, isn't it? Mm. Mm. That's great. It tastes like like <laughs> oh, <mommy. Yeah. laughs> It tastes like the burnt ends of popcorn. You can't even see that on the video. No. Oh, now you can. As long as you lean. Get off the table, bit. Grace. Lean on a little bit, Grace. Not much. There you go. Mmm, that's good. Oh, wow. Mmm. Anyway. Mmm. Mm. Get off the table. All right. Yeah, vultures, stop. All right, stop. <laughs> oh, they're good. It's almost like crack. <laughs> Hold on. Wait. One more. <laughs> really you guys mm. <laughs> guys you got some leftover pumpkin seeds from your from your Halloween from your Halloween jack lantern card room Yummy. try it soak them in hot hot salt water for a couple hours bring them off and I don't have them to over Redenbacher's Oh, I put it away. Butter okay. topping. I'll have it to you, but someone. I was cleaning up your mask. Put it away. I don't have a mask. I wasn't done. Here. Here you go. Now you can put it in between your hands. Over Redenbacher. Pop, popping and topping. <laughs> Pretty good stuff. Stir it out in your bowl. Put it out on your, your baking sheet with the Luna Full. I don't make people dizzy because every time y'all bump the table, that camera goes. <laughs> so. So guys, check out the video, do the pumpkin seed. I'll leave the steps in the description box or you can just watch the video, whatever. But try these rubs. I'll leave your links in the description box. Just hit show more. And guys, hit the thumbs up, subscribe. And all my affiliate links are in the bottom with my PayPal. Um, I've asked you to stop, please. Sorry about that. I have to get a little firm because I want y'all getting seasick out there. Katie back mm -hmm. going trying to watch mm -hmm. the film. So again, thumbs up, hit the subscribe, and um, share with all your friends. And when you do, tell them obviously the best toasted pumpkin seeds and barbecue come from the river. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Hit those come up. from the river.